I slept so well. So, today is that day, the day of the finale. I'm up against Arcanine. <sighs> Need to be mentally prepared for this. Alright, Watzel. The time is now. I'm about to leave this room for good. Wish me good luck. I've made it this far. I know that I had the real chance here. Oh, good morning, Arcanine. Morning to you too. So, it's finally time? Yes, now it's just you and me. I watched the finale of the first season. It was quite a sight. Ford and her supporters versus the boy and his own. Do you think this be already prepared a similar scene for us? Who knows? All that we know is that he told us to get as much sleep as we could. Ford and the boy and were adults with each other. But not us. We are already friends, aren't we? I don't think the Diggersby would force us to fight each other. But that's the Diggersby that we're talking about. True, he can throw anything at us. Come on, let's go down already. Don't make him wait. Good morning, Final Two. Have you slept well? Sure I did. Where is Diggersby right now? He's waiting for you at the Red Square. The Red Square! I remember that place! I was there with Kenga once! And that place will be a perfect starting point for your final challenge. Starting point? What do you mean? We explained everything once you get there. Come on, JSP is waiting there for you. I can't wait! Everything went great! Except for... What? Uh, never mind. Let's go. What's up, I know too? It's time for our grand finale! And it'll be not like any other challenge done before. Let's get to our explanation straight away. How long has it been since we started this season? You've been through a lot, aren't you? Just take a look at the map. Right now, we're in city of Moscow. But where exactly we started our journey? In the far eastern city of Vladivostok. This your ultimate challenge is to complete a long and epic journey from Moscow to Vladivostok. Are you serious? How many kilometers is that? Over 9000 kilometers. And I am not talking about the straight line, it's a distance that you can travel by train. Unfortunately, you will not be allowed to board any trains here. You can only make your journey by foot or by driving some wheels. How many days it would take to get there? No less than a week, maybe even more. Sounds good for an ultimate challenge. And each of us will be traveling on our own? Of course not. Each of you can take up to two helpers of you. They will accompany you on your journey, so you won't need to team up with your rival. You can mix them among any of previously eliminated contestants, excluding Latias, because she's too good for you. 
No matter how far, the score can always be grown here if necessary. If that's the case, can I choose our heavens right now? Of course, the first one is Wardzel! I'm already here! I predicted that this would happen. We're the best friends forever! Yeah! I would like to make my choice too! I want to bring Kanga to join me on this journey! Hurry! You're taking me with you? You've knocked all those mistakes that I've done! You're the best biggie! Kanga, that's too dangerous! You can't go! Not again! Not tell me what to do! And Piggy is the one who chose me! Please, Mother Kanga's help! Allow me to take your doctor with you! This journey will be also an important step for your personal growth! I'll take all responsibility! Fine! Don't make it to regret this decision! Keep her safe! I think I've decided who I'll take me with me along with Floodzel! Furfro, would you like to join us? What? It's incredible! Why me? Because... I'm still deeply sorry for suspecting you as a big hawk. And having two former Alliance members with me can be reassuring. I thought I would be Clinicus. You would be a bigger asset to us. It's not about how useful you are to me. It's all about trust. And Clinicus. He simply doesn't have enough trust points for me. Mercy, Mori. I promise that I won't be a burden to you. Big Knight. Make sure to take Malak with you. Someone else must also watch your Kinga. Sorry, Mother Genghis Khan, but I have already made a second choice. My second companion on this journey will be Charmander. Hey, I am Charizard. Have you forgotten already? And why are you choosing me? Isn't that obvious? We promise that to help you remove your curse once one of us wins. But now that I am in the finale, why not to take you? That way, you can also contribute to my efforts too. I understand. I'll go with you! I like your decision, Big Knight! But those two... Can't you really make it all the way to Vladivostok? You'll be fine! Besides, he can make a wolf! What do you treat me for? My transformation still has a time limit, you know? I transform only when I want to transform! And then it's settled! On one side, we have Arcanine, Flozel, and Furfro. On the other side, we have Big Knight, Kanga, and Charmander! <sighs> Enough pissing me on purpose! You need few things to help you on your journey. First are the disguise rings. Your journey will be long, and you will probably require to interact with humans a lot. By activating one of those rings, you can disguise yourself as humans. And since you'll be traveling around Russia anyway, here are two copies of Russian for dummies. One for each team. Who knows, maybe you actually start speaking Russian language after completing your journey. Both teams can either travel together or separately from each other. You can also hammer the weapons of your opponents in any way you like. Hold on! Sabotaging and harming the other team is something that I would never do! And I don't want the other team to do the same to us. Big Knight! We promise not to harm you or disrupt your challenge if you promise the same thing! Sure thing, Arcanine! We promise not to bring any harm to you or your friends. Me, Cha, and Kinga! Especially you, Kenga. You promise? Fine! I promise! A friendly match. Not unlike the finale of the first season. I hope that things will get a little more exciting with Ratica in the finale. But you two are fine the way you are. And that's all for the briefings, folks! Are you ready? Your final challenge starts in 3, 2, 1, now! Let's go! Yeah! And as for everyone else present here, let's get to the train station and board the train once again. We'll pick along other previously eliminated contestants on the way back to Vladivostok. Enjoy the long trip across Russia! Looks like we managed to get a head start over them. We're faster too! That doesn't mean anything for us, because we are still somewhere in, in Moscow. You really think we reach Vladivostok by ourselves on foot? Certainly not. I'm already getting tired. We need to use public transport in order to travel between cities. Dearest didn't give us those things for nothing. Time to put a good use to them. Hurry up, Piggy! If we don't learn from the event, you might lose this! <sighs> I'm already tired of running. What about you? This is what we are capable of! Hold on! I know what we need to do. 
Have you tried to put those things to your good use? You want to use them now? Are you fancying yourself as a human? Sure, we need some directions. We can't just wander around the city blindly, let alone the biggest country in the world. Come on, find a good place to transform. How do we look as humans right now? Better than I expected. I look great! Someone must have been working really hard to give me this look. True, but the difficult part begins here. I'll handle this word though. I was with a point to invent Shuni when he had that book too. If he could handle it, then I could handle it too. Alright. Just remember that no bus will drive you straight from Moscow to Vladivostok. Куда едем? Три билет до Нижний Новгород. Заходите. Sure, what takes you too long? Come out! Don't wanna! How stubborn he can be! No less stubborn than you, Kinga! If you don't come out right now, we'll leave the city without you! Fine! Here I am! Look at me! I said, look at me! <laughs> I look completely stupid! What idea it was to give me an appearance of Pokemaniac? Don't ask me! Tigerspy was the one who gave us those gadgets! <laughs> what are you going to do now? We need a taxi to drive us to our destination point! Oh! Hey! Taxi! Куда вам надо? В Владивосток! В своем уме! До Владивостока 10 тысяч километров. Это сколько ехать? Пожалуй, 100. Да пошли вы нафиг. Тоже мне клоуны нашлись. Did he just say something about a clown? He was talking about me, right? No, 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 no. It was a different word. I think he meant travelers. Let me try again. Taxi. Вас подвести? Да! В Владивосток! Вы шутите? Шутите? Uh, what he mean to say? Oh, so you're an English speaker. You can speak English? That's great! Listen, we need to get to Владивосток as fast as we can. Then why don't you use a train or a plane? We can't! Uh, we're participating in a certain challenge, and our opponents already managed to gain some headway. Oh, a competition? Interesting. Kane, I'll drive you up to Nizhny Novgorod. Thank you! Come on, we have a ride now! How long until we get to our next city? He said it would take at least five hours. That's way too long. At least only just started. I think five hours would be enough for us to accomplish everything that happened to us so far. I have to say, I'm really impressed by you, Arcanine. You managed to get this far while staying true to yourself, even in face of those backstabbers such as Kurodin 2 and Skullbag. I can't do anything like this by myself. It was all thanks to Impulse. Oh, right. I almost forgot. I made a terrible mistake too. Do you remember how Rowlet was eliminated? She was swimming into the note, right? I quickly concluded that the only ones who would write that note were Kurodin and Excadrill. I even confronted them about it. Both denied their involvement. But at that time, I also thought that Howlet could be a mole, so I thought we had very reason to stay silent, because there were two moles at that time. If you were so certain that it was one of them, then why did you not tell us after Howlet was eliminated? Because shortly after that, we learned that Ferret was kidnapped by Malama. Tigersby asked everyone to cooperate. Then I got myself brainwashed by Malama. A lot of stuff happened in a short time, and by the time we were done, I completely forgot about Howlet. Then Tigas flew us in the wilderness, where I encountered Excadrill. Our old rivalry took the rest of us. Deep inside, I even started blaming Excadrill for framing Rowlet. You know what happened after us. You believe that Excadrill, who looked like a mole, could be a mole. That's right. My biggest mistake was not only taking all my frustration on Excadrill, but
but by not telling you about him and Kuladin. Had I told you that this fated one was sent behind that team, you could have discovered this the big fog faster than usual. It's fine, Lordzell. I know that Skonto and Kuladin started to take advantage of my ignorance, but at the same time, I also realized that they did not consider me as a threat. And because everyone else knew that I could not be the big fog, they used me to advance themselves further in the game. But because of them, you also managed to make it this far. Yeah, too bad that it made me, they made me to suspect Frofro too. It was not a hard mon ami. You know that. Everyone else was just as cruel as you. Thank you for your support, Frofro. Hey, Piggy! What? I just look at this book. The word clown sounds all the same in both languages. That driver from before did call me a clown. And what do I have to do with it? You told me that he called us travelers. <sighs> you have to understand. I did not want him to hurt your feelings or something. What does that mean, Piggy? Uh, I'll explain that to you later, Kenga. Wait. Isn't just me or Char just called me Piggy too? Yeah, he did. I see. <sighs> so deep inside, you also consider me as your friend. Enough! That's because it was much easier to pronounce. Before, I considered calling you as bacon, ham, or something like that. If you don't like me calling you Piggy... No, Piggy is fine. Don't take those jokes too far. I have my own personal feelings too. You keep talking about personal feelings. What does that even mean? Well, it means... It means that if you try to offend someone, they would ask you to fuck off. It's nothing like that! Hey, aren't you getting too loud? Sorry about that! <sighs> Listen, let's talk after we reach our first destination. Until then, try not to disturb the driver. I still don't get that big knight. Why he chose that fire lizard instead of Marvak? I don't get that either. If he really cared for Kinga, he should have allowed me to accompany her as bodyguard. I know why he did that. He cares for my well-being too. That's why he chose to take Chao with him. I beg your pardon? I'll explain. When I learned how Chao was cursed by Dialga back then, and how he appealed to Dialga to remove that curse after he wins, I promised to help him in that battle too. So when he was eliminated from the cast, I decided to carry my promise on. And after I was eliminated from the cast, thanks to Kenga, Pig Knight agreed to carry that promise for me. So I guess it would be natural for him to pick someone like Cha, considering that we also had a bond at that time. Cha is not someone you can get along with. Yeah, it also makes me wonder why. But just maybe... It's because I really wanted myself a boyfriend. With Vlad has been always around, it was quite difficult for me. Only after I began separated from my brother, we understand. You don't need to say anything else. I wonder how my life would turn out if I had a brother or sister with me. What are you talking about, Marvak? You already have them! Big Knight and Kinga! We are family now, aren't we? Thank you, Mother Kangas Khan. What I really was missing back then was parental love. I thought I could feel better together with Kenga, but seeing how he chose Big Knight over me... I don't get how she chose him over you either. But at the same time, I realized that placing further obstacles ahead of Kinga won't be enough for her to grow. So when I learned about her and Pig Knight, I did not complain. After all, Pig Knight is my precious child as well. For just a few days, he was only like that because he wanted to seek shelter from Koagang. At least, well, that's what he told me. Doesn't matter. He finally found himself a real family. One big happy family. Thank you for giving us a ride! No problem. Are you guys hungry? We can find ourselves something to eat. I'm always hungry! Sure you are! So, what does it mean to harm one's feelings? Well, how should I explain that? Imagine that I would say that I don't love you anymore. How you react to that? I would probably cry! 
And then imagine I would say, when I say after once that it was all a joke. How you do that then? <sighs> I would probably get myself in you with such a bad joke. And that is why you always need to think carefully while picking your words. Why I might still love you, your relation with me would worsen because of one such bad joke. Same goes for Cha. What's that crazy costume? Are you a clown or something? Did you just call me a clown? You wanna fight? And that is just one of examples. We have to stop them. Well, I haven't had a big fight in a while. Come and get me. You better prepare for consequences. Cha, what's going on? Did that guy just offend you? That's right. And now she shall get his face clouded. Wait. Are you big knight? Those are your humanized forms? I'm just as surprised as you are. You look cool. Can I still hit him once? No. We promised not to harm each other, you remember? Back off this instant. Then have this guy to make an apology right now. <sighs> I apologize, Cha. I'm sorry that I did not recognize you and your usual temper. That's the way it should be. By the way, how did you get here before us? We are using a taxi. A taxi? We took a public bus. No surprise that you managed to get here before us. Oh, it's serious me. You better answer. What's up, Big Knight? It's me, Tigersby. You should be a Nishi Novgorod, right? Yeah, Arcanan is also here with me. We did manage to get here before him. So, you two are together right now? That simplifies things. I have few more important pieces of information for you. First, your next checkpoint should be the city on the river of Volga, right? Yeah, and what of it? Here's the next point. For this challenge only, you are not allowed to use bridges to cross that river. And you are not allowed to use local ferries either. You need to cross the Volga river with your own strength. That should be quite a challenge for fire types like you, right? But they have floats on their side. How should we... Oh, never mind. I have no way to cross the river. Gone. Second important part. I strongly recommend you to make a stop in the city of Togliatti, the place where we previously conducted one of our challenges. You will quickly find out why. I do not remember what kind of challenge you had back then, but I will take your advice, DSB. Is there anything else? You should keep revisiting places of our previous challenges too. Who knows what kind of goodies you might find? That's all for the info, folks. Keep up the good work! You heard everything, right? Yeah. Basically, you just need to use those places where you've previously been as checkpoints and rest stops. By the way, did you come here to eat? Would you like to join us? Go we'll check that corner. Third row? Mercy. And that is why I can't stand that rage at all. He's a complete freak. <laughs> so when he said, oh no, we're going to die, he poured the entire bottle of bubble bath? <laughs> Stupid or not, he surely knows to enjoy taking the rest of his life. That makes me to remember about Chespin. You meant to say Gordon too? Wasn't he the one who saved you from Malamar back then? Yeah, it did happen. So who do you like more? The Chespin that was a human? Or Gordon too? A cheap imitation of him? That's a... tough question. And... I don't think that I'm ready to answer it. Third! Since you're a busy, can you talk about... Oh, she's here. I'm out. That's right. Go away. No, that's not right. You go away, Raticat. I need to talk with Farad. I'm not leaving. And why should want to talk with a former villain like you? I'm missing my phone. I tried to ask DSV about it, but he was busy writing his screen. So, I'm going to ask you. You are there too. Did you steal my phone, Raticat? Why would I want to steal your phone? Go ask Uniclus. The one who defeated you. I already did. He doesn't have it either. Where did you take my phone? Listen, Zippo, we're busy right now. I don't know anything about your phone because I wasn't there. Ask me, Tank. I did that too. He said that the phone was taken by one of you. It's the final six. Must be Rachel. He lets let the gadgets. The phone could also be in possession of either Big Knight or Arcanine. If that is really the case, then you have to wait until they complete the finale. Rachel, that must be him. I'm not here. Should not tell Sinipu that her phone was taken by Skontank? Then why did you not tell her yourself? 
I just wanted to pizza in the further. Besides, we still have no idea where that guy disappeared to. <sighs> Somehow, we managed to get here before them. That advice about taxi turned out to be quite helpful to us. So, now we need to cross the river? Yes! Count on me! <sighs> Look at me! I'm a raft now! Can we win a transfer of both of us? Piece of cake! Come on, Nichu! Get up what? And please take a good hold on me. The current is quite fierce in this river. Let's go! Look! We are right across the river! That's a water tie for ya! We need to catch up with them! You mentioned that you have some means to cross the river. How are we are supposed to do it? Your guess is good as mine! Kinga, you think we're safe, right? Yes! It's time to do it! To do what? Why are you looking at me? We can't swim, but you can fly! So please! Ugh. Fine, but because you say it, please! Since there is no other way! Now get in! We will cross this river in the flesh! Yes! I haven't seen this cool stuff in a while! Me too! Come on! Let's fly over! Hey! That's not fair! Now they can fly? Merde! It's fine! Now in Chuck, he should still have a time limit on how long he can stay mega above it! They will get grounded for sure, and after that, Cha won't be able to fly for much longer. But they will still get a step ahead of us. Also, we didn't even finish half of our journey. We will get more chances to catch up with them. Let's go. This is as far as I can take you. How many minutes it has been? 30 minutes! You have greatly improved since the last time. I thought you would need a course removal. Come to think about it. You've got a strong yourself. How come you're not Embo already? Well, if I had to evolve into Embo, I would be too heavy for you to carry me! <laughs> Besides, I like picking the way he is now! <sighs> Forget what I asked. Let's not doubt any longer. Here we are! The city of Togliatti! Does anyone remember what we were doing here? I remember! We were watching the racing those cars! Watching? We did the hard work on constructing those cars while you watch it from the sidelines! What is that for? You wanna pick a fight with me? I bet that you're weaker than me when you're not in super form! You think I'm weak in this form? May I prove you wrong? Enough, you two! Kinga, stop being so childish! Sure, don't lower yourself to Kinga's level! He started first! I said enough! Like really, I am trying to stop two kids fighting each other! I am not a kid! Then don't act like one! Oh, I just remembered something cool about that challenge! Those should be still here! Come on, follow me! What are you talking about? No idea! Let's find out! There they are! Don't you remember? The racing cars that each of our teams used in that challenge. And now we'll take one of those cars for ourselves. Let's pick the normal looking one. Who needs the chunk? 
Where is a monster truck? Let's use it! A monster truck? I remember that one. Trifable won the race with. And we should get a lead to this too! The lead not waste any time! And what are you doing? I want to blow the tires of other cars that you won't use! You want to do the what? Stop it! I cannot allow you to do that! Cannot allow? You start to act like my mother! Kenga, your mother has nothing to do with this! Don't you remember? We promised you are kind that you won't be sabotaging anything! It'll be fine, Piggy! As long as you won't tell anyone! <sighs> How stupid she could be! Kenga, I have no intentions of hiding anything from Arcanine. And even if you don't tell them anything, they'll find that anyway, because the monster truck that we took won't be there. If you blow the tires of the other cars right now, I'll burn this monster truck and we'll keep our journey on foot. You want that? No, no, anything but that! I want to ride a monster truck! Oh girl, glad that you can understand each other. Come on, get in. I'll drive the car myself. I knew they would be still here. Dearest was right. We can take on those cars for ourselves. But there are only two cars, so that means Big Nice Group took the third one. Which leave us with this car. I'll be the driver if you don't mind. No, 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 no. I refuse to sit in this one too. What's your problem, Furfro? I think I understand. This is the car that was used by Skontag and Hitmore. And his smell still lingers even now. That's why you should take the other one. The Pikachu car? I don't want to disappoint you, but that car is powered by electricity. Are there any electric car chargers in Russia? Have you seen any? Then... We really have no choice but to use Contex car? They're terrible! Can't you tolerate the smell? No! Get rid of the smell first! Whoever is right, get rid of that smell. Flotel! This car is still dirty at that race. So let's clean it up! Once the car is washed, we can finally keep moving! Great thinking, Arcanine. But we need to finish with cleaning it fast. Big Knight is already ahead of us, so we can't allow ourselves to lag behind. How is your journey, Forbear Master? Don't talk to us, you backstabber. I can understand Simibu backstabbing me. Skontank, I can understand why he would do the same, but you? Why you suddenly switched loyalties to Diggersby right after I was defeated for the first time? Because he was much nicer than to me than you. Necities have nothing to do with this. You had loyalty. I always thought that you were loyal to me. Unlike those like Simibu. You are not all out of fear. So after you defeated and lost your power, we no longer had to be afraid of you. But even so, Simbu would have still been a better commander than Dearest Bee. Come to think about it, why is she the only one being allowed to run free? Because she has been all concluded that she is no longer a friend, and for a thousand pleaded for her release, considering their past story. And besides, Simbu has a child now that she needs to take care of. I've never heard of her having a child when she returned from the first season. Right, Meowstick? She asked me to keep her secret about Pantia closely guarded. As someone who experienced humiliation several times. Enough! How long is going to be our sentence? Oh, about that. See, Paul convinced DSP to ask a condition that would lighten your sentence. What kind of condition? No. I understand what they want to do with me. I refuse! You'll get a life sentence if you refuse the offer. Go away! I don't want to see you ever again! Why do we have to stop here? We're losing time! We have plenty of time. I just remembered something important about that place. <sighs> What's cutting to him? Kenga, I can't leave him alone, but I can't leave you either. Let's go together. Fine, but I still don't understand what they're doing here. It's been a while. Yeah, on the way things look, the forest still hasn't recovered from that fire. What are you doing, Piggy? This is the place where I experienced the hottest fight in my life. You remember the Deoxys brothers that we encountered here? Char was fighting against the eldest of them. It took him two different mega evolutions to finally defeat that bastard. 
Yeah, that's out any doubt. He was the strongest of my opponents thus far. And do you remember who helped you to unlock that second mega evolution? Who gave you that extra firepower so that you could keep fighting? Both me and Arcanine. Well, that hitman was there too, probably as part of his acting, but that doesn't matter. And when you were completely cornered, Latias also saved your life. So tell me this, Cha. Where is your gratitude towards us? After everything that we've done to you? Come on, say something. Fine, have it your way. I am grateful for everything that you have done to me. Happy now? No way! What's wrong with you, Piggy? He showed you some gratitude. I've been a reticate for quite a long time. So, when someone throws a sarcasm, I can immediately recognize it. Has your pride blinded you, Char? No surprise that you were cursed by Dialga back then. I took you with us because I believe that you have changed it. But what do I see now? You're trying to pick fights with someone just because they call you a clown. What do you want for me to do then? It's not like I became like this because I wanted to. I was born in a rough environment. The training that I went through in order to make me into what I am, it was brutal. I was carrying heavy waves, swimming in hot lava, running in rainy weather, and you would expect me to be nice after getting from all that. My family was not that nice as that kid's mother. I earned my wins with my own blood, sweat, and tears, I guess? Shut up! Don't you understand how I felt after all that training was taken from me? <sighs> I think I understand. Cha. Uh, oh, I just remembered something cool from Rachel's article. It mentioned something about fire types breathing in lava. Can you tell me something about your experience? Because I've never experienced something like that. In return, let's forget about this coil that we had just now. You got yourself a deal, piggy. So, you want to be even stronger? No, I just simply want to practice myself swimming in lava. Swimming in lava? Sounds both cool and tough. Can I do it too? No! no! Oh, why well, I was not born as a fire type? Even Marla could do it if he wanted. And I should have been born as a fairy type. They always live in such carefree life. That's how Cliff Able you're talking about. And popular too, I guess. Maybe you wanted to be a wonder type instead? Pfft, no way. Hey Arcanine, I just remembered something about this place. Do you remember what kind of challenge you had there back then? We were... building houses? That's right. And did us be also say something about the winner getting the best house out of them? Should we take a look? So this is the house that Soviet mushrooms managed to build. <laughs> How did they manage to finish something like that? When they have leaders like Sobert and Sinipo, they can build anything. Come to think about it, Arcanine, it makes me to remember about our home. My family's house and your kennel right nearby. Looking at you now, you've grown too big for your kennel. But if I manage to win this final challenge, I'll get a house for myself. Well, not just for myself. Just be saying that I can take someone else with me. What about you, Furfro? Me? C'est true pour moi. But you are my friend too. Flozo is a good guy, but I can't live with those water ties forever. It's fine. I already go on out to move away from my parents as well. I found myself a good place, so you can move to my new home if you don't manage to win. I'll build you a bigger kennel too. Bigger kennel? You don't want him to live inside your house? It's nothing like that. It's Zorak, right? You're planning to live together with her and give some privacy? Flozo, I'm against your idea. She's not the best type out there. You can find yourself a better girl than her. That's for me to decide, Arcanine. Let me choose my own crush. But she's a bad girl. She would turn you to a dark side. Life is not black and white, Arcanine. There are many shades of grey too. Fifty shades, to be exact. What? Fifty shades of Zoark? <laughs> you cracked me up for real. <laughs> Arcanine, I know you may not like Zorak, but I am doing this not just because I love her, but because I want to reform her as well. And if you'll be there too, you'll be able to keep a good eye on her. I thought that you wanted me to live together with Furfro. I still don't like Zorak, but I trust in your decision as always, Lodzel. Good. 
A bit okay, that's enough about our life. Let's go back to our car. We still have a long road ahead. <sighs> it took us a long time, but we're finally here! The cheese factory? You hungry for cheese now? Cha, where is your memory? Now you are the one for getting important things. This is the place where I once stood up to Krogang and evolved into Pig Knight. It's also an important place for me. I didn't know anything about this, Piggy. Of course you couldn't, Kenga. Back then, you were still sitting in Mama's pouch. Enough! You are afraid of being embarrassed? Say, Piggy, how you could allow us yourself to let that Krogan harassing you for that long? Well, it's because up until that moment, I never really had the courage to stand up against Krogang. The one who gave me that important burst of courage was Giraffe Egg. I'll never forget them. They even gave me a temporal shot against Krogang. Shh, can you hear? Oh, it's just a rat. Even after all that time, this place is still infected by them? Oh, we'll see you them! Back off! Back off! Back off! So, are those the intruders? You had some nerve barging here right in my factory! Right again? What are you even doing here? Should we be together with other? I asked them to disembark me here at Tonsk. After all, I now own this wall building. If that's the case, can you share some of your cheese with us? No way! I hate you all! Especially you, Kenga. You backstabbed both me and Latias back then, don't you remember? Get out of my place this instant! And if we refuse? Then my servants will kick you out! Get them! Play for the Where are your so-called servants now? Screw you all! Do whatever you want! I think we really shouldn't stay here for too long. We don't even know if we are ahead of behind our organized group. Let's gather as many supplies as we can and go back to our car. <laughs> Those bastards! Can I get some solitude away from others? Oh, what's this? I remember this vehicle from my challenge. Is it their car then? <sighs> this is what I'll get for pissing me off! I'll blow their tires! Alright, you should be good to go! Hey! My car! What's wrong? Our tires are busted! Who would have done this? It was right against doing, of course! Where is she? I'll burn her to grease! And who asked you to attack her critters? If you didn't provoke her, our vehicle would be still intact! And if I haven't done so, we wouldn't have gathered for supplies! If you were in my place, you would have done the same thing! But now our car is out of service! How you can catch up to Arcanine while we still have their own car? It's no use. The vehicle's engine is completely broken. I told you not to drive at such high speed. It's a good thing that they came out of this accident, likely injured. That's for what we see bells are. Furthermore, Big Noy still has their own car. We'll never be able to catch up to them. What else do you want from me? I'm a Pokemon of speed. I just wanted to get to our destination as far as I could. But now we'll get nowhere without the car. I guess I have no choice. Let's get to your nearby settlement and ask them for some help. Look, there is a settlement. But I don't see any humans out there. We can use it as our resting point. Good idea. Uh, it seems a little bit familiar to me. Oh no, not again. Swampert? What are you doing here? I don't understand. Speak English already. Lonzo, it's useless. Remember the first time that I was talking about? Lonzo, it's useless. Remember that first time that I was talking about? 
The water that was inhabited by mutual clones of Marshdom. And now it seems that some of these clones have evolved into Swampert since then. And the thing is, they can only speak Russian language. I'll try to engage the conversation then using our book. I remember that story. I heard how Furfro embarrassed herself by trying to convert them to them in French. Merde! Uh, we are not study. We want to eat. Can we stay here and chill? No problem. Mom, Pop, we have arrived. Let's go to the kitchen. Now, Mom, did I hear it right? The skulls can even reproduce by themselves. They were completely unstable last time we saw them. Let's just leave those silly details and accept their hospitality. We can think about our next moves after getting some good rest. Dear B, I want to have some last words with you. You know that I'll be quitting soon. Yeah, no problem, Salk. You are free, Pokémon. Do whatever you want. After all, I already have a good chef on my side. You're talking about Fro? That's why I'm here, on his behalf. Both me and Fro, we are quitting this job. Hey, what? You said that Fro is quitting too? Why? Do you really need to ask? Because just like me, Fro also realized who you really are. He got tired of working with you. Here's his explanation notice. He asked me to give it to you. But, but, uh, that's not fair. I know that Fred is also leaving after this season, but Flo? Who's going to book this food for our contestants? And just when I started to think about making a new season? You still have that junk of metal called Metank. Maybe he can help you? That won't be any good. Metank has no sense of taste. Please, I want at least one of you to reconsider your decision. Sorry, DSB. Things don't always turn back as they have been before. This is reality. Just face it and find a new replacement by yourself. If you can, that is. <sighs> Great. Now my mood is all ruined. What I'm going to do afterwards? Вы уже покидаете нас? Да. Мы должны идти. Удачи вам в пути! Спасибо! A bunch of clones were usually nice to us. But isn't that a good thing? I hope our clones created by Mewtwo usually lack any emotions. I have seen crazy examples. Come on, let's hitch another ride. Where should we head now? To the Lake Baikal. They were really nice guys. I really wish I could join a lance of Arcanine earlier than before. If not for that big pog. By the way, where your chain comes to pick you back? Uh, I was told that Dusknar should pick me back when the right time comes. Until then, I am still allowed to hang with my family. That's our son. That truck driver surely likes to travel long distances, but that is as far as he can drive us. Shouldn't we find another one to help us? We should check this place first. Last time we were here, fighting each other on tanks. Yeah, I was right. There is still a tank that you can use. For a while, this will be our new vehicle. Oh, I always wanted to drive tanks. Come on, let me fire the cannon. I don't think that there would be any ammunition left. Besides, this tank was left here with only one purpose, to provide us an old vehicle. We don't need a war machine, because we already have one. Right, Char? Just get in that tank and drive it already! Hmm, the cockpit is too small for me to fit in. And Char might accidentally burn with his tail. Kenga, it appears that we have no choice but to please you as a driver. Yes, I always wanted to drive something. Just don't involve us in road accidents. Drive straight on the road. It's fine, Char. I'll provide her necessary guidance. Ah, 
the famous lake Baikal. It's such a shame that you are not a water type, Arc 9. The water here is crystal clear and beautiful. Hey, don't take me too lightly. You're the one who taught me how to swim, you remember? And I've ordered my wall lane badge too. That's great. Would you like to come for a swim? Sure. Furfro, what about you? Atamoa, I'll pass. By the way, is that Mespri still in lake? The legendary Pokemon that took your emotions? Uh, I remember Dear has been saying something about her leaving this place, so... I guess she's no longer here. <sighs> I changed my mind. Flood I'm no longer in the mood for swimming. After remembering my speed... Yeah, I understand. I gave both you and Sora quite a trouble after that incident. I'll see you on my own then. You take care of our camp. No problem, buddy. I remember this mountain. Do you remember it too, Cha? No, and I don't wanna. That was the place where you issued a challenge to Scrafty. You were fighting against each other on that hill. Did you use your Mega Evolution to beat him? How was your fight overall? Ugh, it was boring. That's why I don't want to remember anything about him. In either case, why don't we set up a camp right near our old place? The place near water? I could do a better place. We were keeping the other team deeper in the forest. Then it's it, lad. Let's stop there. You sure this is the place where you came at last time, Furfro? Oui. This is where I previously started the hall. Then we can settle here. I remember this forest. You remember it too, right, Arcanine? Yeah, the place where engaged in the brawl with Crafty to protect Bidoof. I hope that you would remember something more important. The incident when Kanga ran away on her own. You were the one who gave it us a check, right? Yeah, it's true. But the one who brought her back was Latias. So Arcanine was the one who found you back then? And Mark was the one who fought off that bear? Yeah! And you'll never believe what happened after us! That bear suddenly turned in a Pokemon! I believe that Pokemon's name was... Defable! Def Def huh? Wait, you knew the answer already, Cha? I saw that once with my own eyes. Yeah, that was our troublemaker, Cliffable. I saw how it happened to her first time. We were attacked by a wild bear, and then Cliffable stepped up, like his usual metronome, and suddenly he transformed into a bear. Two bears started to get at each other. We immediately ran away, and I had no idea what happened after us. <sighs> Come to think about it. What compelled you to run away from your mother back then? I think it was... because of Malak. I really didn't like him back then. I don't like him that much even now, but... He's a member of our family now, right? I never liked my birth mother either. But maybe I shouldn't have run away from home. But if that wouldn't happen, well, you would have never met me. That's true. Hey, I'm getting hungry already. Me too. We haven't eaten in a while. Alright, I'll head to the forest and scourge for some food. Cha? Don't get your eyes off Kanga! <laughs> Who do you shoot me for? A babysitter? Looks like it's raining. The rain is so inconvenient. It's going to ruin my fur. On the contrary, I should say that rain is a wonderful weather. Don't you feel the same, guys? As is how you to say, you are what i Let's run together, Arcanine. Even if I wanted to, you'll be still faster than me, because you have swift swim. Then just use agility and catch up to me. <laughs> Perfro, would you like to join us, please? But my fur? Your fur won't get any worse than this. Come on, let's have some fun together! How you can tell it always rain in spite of being a fire type? That was a part of my chain in the floor so too. And no matter how cold it would be, my inner fire would keep burning all the same. Let's go! Arcanine! Arcanine! Don't leave me alone! Merde! Why must do this?
Hey, just a great weather for us fire types. I don't like the rain either. It makes my skin cold. <laughs> Can you warm me up? I'm getting cold too. But I'm much colder than you, so please. <sighs> What's wrong? Why are you making that face? <sighs> Nothing. I just uh, I just remembered something about Latias. <sighs> Since Piggy is not around, it shall be my responsibility to keep you safe and warm. Come closer. Thanks. How long are you here, Jones? How should I know? I was in similar situations before. With Piggy. Only it was freezing, not raining. We had no food, and I was getting weak for starvation. In order to save me, Piggy took drastic measures. What kind of measures? You don't know? Oh, right. Piggy and Mavak are the only ones who know the horrible truth. What kind of truth? Spill it out! Well, you see... He did what? Are you serious? He said that he was the only way to save me from hunger! <sighs> this guy... I can't believe it! But if your story was true... Isn't there a possibility that he would try to do the same thing again? What? I... I never thought about that! We have to fight him right now! And I'm the first once again! Ish what though? The only thing I could keep chasing was your back! That's true! Up until this season, you were always relying on me. But you showed me that you can be also independent on your own. You may be right, but even so... I still feel much better with you around. Uh, 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 uh. That was so exhausting. But that's normal. If it wouldn't be so exhausting, you wouldn't call it a proper World Cup. How do you feel now? My fur looks beyond terrible. But even so, I don't feel that as I was seriously afraid. That was fun even for you, right? Tiresome, but fun. I was reluctant to go on a journey with you because of things like this. But now I'm glad that you picked me along, Arkanine. I thought of choosing Mayu after Pig and I chose Kinga, but then I realized that Mayu came with us for a different reason. She... He is clearly not as tough as Kinga and... Arkanine didn't want Mayu to be a burden to us, but he still wanted to pick someone who can trust. And he chose you, first of all. You won't find a boyfriend better than him. Come on, Flotzo, that's enough! You only knew each other for several weeks. Give us more time to know each other. I agree. I also think that his role as Orax packed faster than usual. Shouldn't you learn more about her too? You got me right on point. Piggy! There you are! Don't do it again, please! Oh, it's you! Right on time! I think you should gather in some lights. Here! Mushrooms! Mushrooms? Here! Arcanine is not the only one who can rely on smell! Using my own nose, I have managed to find a fine supply of mushrooms! Does anyone want mushroom soup for dinner? I hate mushrooms! Fine, so now I guess I'll have to cook something different for you! No, no, no! I say that I hate mushrooms, but I'll never say that I won't eat them! What's wrong with you, Cha? <sighs> Nothing! I told him what happened in that snow forest back then! Why are you? Oh, so that means he knows the story too. Well, here I am, the piece of bacon and ham. You like it to give me those nicknames, ever right? Stop screwing with me! <sighs> I'm just glad that you didn't do another stupid thing again. And I won't! I had enough making you worry over me. There will be always a better solution. Speaking about solutions, this train is getting too inconvenient for us. So make it clear! I got you! Let there be some!
That's much better. Thank you, Cha. Gap! Before my powers are exhausted, we will fly somewhere where those rain clouds end. But what about the mushrooms? Just take them with you. Come on, I have a time limit. What are these phenomena? Oh, in the skies above us, rain is not all about bad things, Arcanine. After the rainy weather, the sun always comes back. And when the rain and sun combine with each other, look! A rainbow! How beautiful! Rainbows always give inspirations to everyone, and they also give them new hopes. But Vlato, the sun can just appear on its own, unless... Hey, look what's over here! I thought that we lost them! I thought that they would lose us! <laughs> Who'd believe that we would be camping right beside each other? But now that we see you, there is no reason for us to stay any longer. We will be going ahead if you don't mind. Hey, wait! <laughs> Arcanine, we have no choice. We need to leave our camp right now, or else you would lose this race. It's away! Fifro, sorry, but we need to go right now. Merde! I just thought I thought that you could finally get some rest. That's right! The second to last city in our long journey! I want you to stop at the train station! What? Why? Is there a reason? Just do what she says! Now you're taking her side, Char! That's so unusual for you! Shut up and just do what is asking of you! Fine, if that is what my friend wants. Just don't blame me if we lose our race because of your stupid request. You're perfectly fine! Mom, am I glad to see you again? Big Ryan, you did a great shot of taking care of her. Oh, so that was the reason why you wanted to visit the train station. I understand. Now that ignore you on this fan, we should... Hey, where are you going? Isn't that obvious? I'm boarding the train. Wait, what? What is the meaning of this, Cha? Sorry, Big Knight, but those are serious business instructions. It's the final leg of your journey. You must finish it on your own. And nothing you goes either. You must continue your journey from this city to Vladivostok on foot. Oh, so that's how it is. And here I wondered why Charles started to act so strange. Is Arcanine still on his way? Yes, he should be arriving very soon. Then I'll better hurry. He might be fast, but when I pull out flaming charge, I can even with speed. Thank you for helping me this far. Well, I should be leaving now. See you at the finish line. Take care of yourself! Looks like this is as far as I can carry you, Arc9. The rest is in your paws. Big Knight may be ahead of you, but if you hurry up, you might be able to catch up with him. I'll do my best, Wadzel! And... I just noticed that all this time I allowed you to act as a leader of our group. But that just didn't feel right! I am supposed to be the finalist, not you! And in spite of that... I allowed you to make all those important decisions. Well, that was your own decision as well. Whether our decisions were right or not, we'll find out once we cross the finish line. We'll be waiting for you there. Stay safe, one of me. Track that pig night by your smell and catch up. Hello, Joe. Thank you for coming with me. I shall never forget this journey with you all. I'm off! Oh, by the way, Fred, we're gathering back the entire cast, right? Have we finished picking everyone off? Yes. All of our cast, excluding the families, are assembled in our chain. Including that guy? The one who before had disappeared? All of them. Now we need to arrive at the final station before them and prepare to give the winner. Oh, that's the horn. Board the train. Alright, looks like I've cleared about half of your many distance. Time to run at full speed! Flame charge! Ow! My leg! Oh! Not 
that sound like this? It hurts. I can't move. What about Maurice? Oh no. There is no way I can catch up with Arcanine with my neck in this condition. What should I do? I can call for help, but that would be equal to giving up. That would make me unable to fulfill my promise to Latias and Cha. <sighs> Why do I need to worry over them in the first place? I don't think that Cha has changed it for better. And Latias can forgive me even if I don't win. Ooh. <sighs> first, I need to do something about my leg. Looks like I'm getting closer to the source of his smell. <laughs> Should I keep moving on the road ahead or keep shagging him? But I'm still new to this land and... I should have certain location of my own in first. <laughs> After all, the smell does not lie. <sighs> That's it. I can't... I can't move with my leg like this. <sighs> Uh, uh. Am I going to die here? Aha! Uh -huh. There you are! I finally caught up to you, big knight! <sighs> well done! But how? Since you are still ahead of me, I could easily catch up to you by checking your smell. <sighs> Good for you! <sighs> you win this whole thing, Arcanine. All you need to do is to keep going until you reach the finish line. What do you mean? I have accidentally wounded my leg, and because of that, I am unable to move. I will be calling for help now. By the time we finish my treatment, it will be impossible for me to catch up. So it's your victory, Arcanine. Go ahead, make your friends proud. I'm not leaving. I'm going to stay here and shoot your leg. Arcanine, what are you saying? This is your perfect chance. Why are you missing it right now? <sighs> I told you that I'll be calling them for help with my phone. Because I'll never be satisfied with that kind of victory. I want both of us having equal chances of winning this race. I'll stay here with you until your leg gets better. And nothing can make me change this decision. <sighs> Arcanine. The answer that you gave me. It is so like you. Thank you for staying who you are. Now please, bring me something to close this on. I'll be right back. How is your leg, Big Knight? <sighs> Feels much better now. I'll be able to walk tomorrow, but running is still out of question. Then I'll keep staying with you until you're able to run again. Sounds fair. Shouldn't we use our time to talk about our adventures that we experienced this far? Yes, we should, I guess. Come to think about it, we haven't really interacted with each other until that Malamar incident. No, I think it was much earlier. We helped a child to boost his power against that Deoxys, remember? That's true. I remember finding a firestorm at the meteor site. I've heard how you used extreme speed on that day to save Furfro and company. How did you learn it so fast? When I was training with Lord Zell, he mentioned something about our evolved species being able to run like wind. We made some research on that. Upon fighting that Firestone, I was able to bring those research results to fruition. You surely did a lot of work, aren't you? <laughs> Come to think about it, we even managed to meet new girlfriends. Me and Kenga. You and Furfro. Not just us. Latias and Cha. Sneasel and Quagsire. Flotsam and Zorak. I thought I would question the last match. You still think they are in a perfect fit for each other? I just simply don't like Zorak. She used to hang out with bad guys like Skontek, Resigat, ETC. Oh, there is something interesting I should know. When Dasknor was interrogating me about my favorite smell, I adamantly refused to answer his question. Oh, I understand. You were too embarrassed to admit that you like Furfro, right? Your favorite smell has to be for Furfro. If you asked me precisely about Furfro, I would have given him the right answer. It's true that Furfro has a nice smell, especially for a perfume being added. 
But my favorite smell does not come from Furfro. The smell that I like the most comes from you, Pig Knight. <laughs> Me? <laughs> you... Uh, you're not serious about this? <sighs> but that's... Very typical for my curse. Everyone is always for me because of my smell. Does that mean? Calm down, Pig Knight. It's just a smell. No need to get so crazy. My love interest is still Furfro. And you have Kanga too. It's just... I think I have acquired myself a second best friend after Fluodzel. Second best? For me, you're the best friend I've ever had. You can call me Piggy now. Ciao, why did the same? Uh, I like you. I'm not into giving fancy nicknames to my friends, but I'll make an exception for you, Piggy. Oh, I'm getting really tired now. Want to sleep? It's okay, Piggy. You really need to rest right now. Oh, by the way, Arkane, when my legs get completely healed, I will not go easy on you. I'll keep running toward my objective at full speed. I know what I'm doing. I have managed to catch up with you before, and I will do it again. You were confident in yourself? That is one of the reasons you stopped to help me. Yes, I will win in science away. But let's think about that once your legs get better. <sighs> I have no possible way of winning too, but... Oh, I'm just getting sleepy. Oh, I guess it's time for me to sleep too. Good morning, Piggy! Uh, where is he? Piggy! <sighs> Did he already left? With his broken leg? Oh, what's this? I have to read it. Arcane, by the time you'll be reading this note, I'll be already on my way to a final point. Truth is, my leg has already completely healed this morning. Since I still had a lead before my injury, I decided to keep the same distance between us as before I injured myself. That would be fair for both of us, right? So go ahead and follow my trail. Oh, so that's how you're gonna play, Piggy. Challenge accepted. Injured leg or not, I can catch up to you as long as I'm locked on your smell. <sighs> Sorry for doing this, Arcane, but I have to keep my promise to Latias. I'm sure that you understand. Let's see how you can catch up to me now. Something is not right. Pig my trail slid into a different direction than you're moving into. Has he lost his way? I better keep following the trail in case it gets injured again. The trail stops here. He must be still nearby. Pig Knight! Piggy! You're going in the wrong direction! Where are you? Pig Knight! Pig Knight! Don't make me search all around for you! <sighs> what's wrong with him? <laughs> oh, what's this? She left another note? Let's see... Postscriptum. I've learned that your ability to strike me by smell would give you an advantage, so I'll let you here on purpose and erase it my smell by washing myself in the river. Now you have to find a way to the finish line all by myself, without relying on my smell track. Good luck! Yours truly, Piggy! <sighs> Piggy! You rascal! To make me stall for time! Well played! But the real fun starts now! I'm still faster than you! I know that we need to run southeast, so I'll get you this time! Finally! The last city! I have arrived there at last! And hopefully before Arkane did! <sighs> I do feel sorry for him! But that is the only way I can win over him in speed! On to the finish line! I 
a fiery look at on your smell, piggy. You may have reached the city first, but I know you're not at the finish line yet. I still have a chance. It took our finalists longer than usual to get to this point, but we are finally here. Latias, what is your report? Pinwood is awaiting his straight line to the finish, and Arcanine has only arrived. Arcanine is faster. The just few boosts of extreme speed. He can still do it. And... I can finally see one of them. And... It's none other than Big Knight. He's blazing straight to the finish line without being obstructed. The finish line! I finally made it! Just a little more! Not so fast! <sighs> Come on! Just one more burst! I have lost the speed! Both of them are coming here! We are coming! Almost at the same time! Hoy win! Yes! I ran it to the first place! <sighs> I can't believe it! You came here first! Splendid done, Arkin! I took measures to prevent you from checking me by smell. And you managed to overcome your short comments. I don't have any complaints. You win, Arcanine! And... We have our final winner! What a spectacular turn of events! Of course, someone like you deserves a big prize, right? Me thank! Me cast the briefcase! Excellent job, Arcanine! I knew you could do it! I have no idea what happened between you and Big Knight, but I'm glad that you managed to win in the end. Those red are small stuff! I want to see my reward! Here's the prize what you deserve! Right! The 100 million poker! The winner takes it all! Thank you everyone for watching the final season of Total Pokemon Russia! What a long and outstanding journey it has been! And now, the winner of this season is right in front of us! You must be overjoyed with your happiness, Arcanine! So come on, open it up! We'll do right now! I'm late! Sorry that I could not able to catch up! Piki, you! Hey, who are you? The winner of Total Pokemon Russia! Hey, what are you holding? Get back! Uh, who was that just now? What is going on?